Stadium here in Miami. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Miami Dolphins. Jason Sanders Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And we are underway from Miami. Kenny Nwagu now out of his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. play here's Cousins finds his man there's Jordan Addison down the left sideline inside the 20 touchdown Vikings Jordan Addison an 80 yard touchdown and the Vikings are on the board first here this afternoon one play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. So roughing the passer call is accepted and this officiating crew not making very many friends here with this crowd. Yeah, we all know that everyone accuses the officials of kind of playing to the home team. But not in this case. They're just trying to administer the game the way it's supposed to be. That drew the flag. Kevin O'Connell choosing to leave his guys out there, and they'll go for two. And now we've got a man a little jumpy here, maybe trying to block the extra point. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. Cousins will try and throw. He's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. To a sack on a two-point try. So they went for two and failed. They didn't use him on the PAT, but now he boots this one away with a 6-0 lead. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 19 yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So again from the 39, this time from the other side of the field. Here's first and 10. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Flushed out right. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going in. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Moster. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Second and seven from the 20. Throwing now is Chunga Vailoa. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on 30 inches. First down. First and 10 at the 13-yard line. 
Tua sets up to pass it. Dancing to his left. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. At the four yard line. Hey, come on two. Come on two. Come on two. Here's Tua. Throw to the right, taken in by Barrios. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Call it a loss of two there on the play. And that'll leave him with a third and two. From the gun, it's Tua. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Jonathan Bullard coming in to drop it for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. No sign of Tua departing. Fourth down. They're going for it. Tongue of Iloa going for it on fourth down. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down, and this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. So their first drive of the game. All